What's up everyone, it is Cameo Finance and I am here to talk to you about Solana and what's going on with Solana right now. So uh, pretty much currently the entire Solana blockchain is shut down um, and they are doing a reset of the network. All of the validator nodes are going to be restarted. Um, if you check on Twitter, this is essentially the breakdown coming from Solana themselves. Um, the mainnet beta encountered a large increase in transaction load which peaked at 400,000 transactions per second. Uh, these transactions flooded the tr transaction processing queue and lack of prioritization and network critical messaging caused the network to start forking. Um, this forking led to excessive memory consumption causing some nodes to go offline. Engineers across the ecosystem attempted to stabilize the network but were unsuccessful. Uh, the validator community elected to coordinate a restart of the network. The community is preparing a new release and instructions will be posted in the Discord. Um, so there's the link to their Discord. You can see listed here in Business Insider uh, that the token price is holding steady. Um, and they're basically just quoting the tweets here. And um, yeah, so the Sol coin, which last week hit record highs in spite of widespread sell-off in the cryptocurrency market, is the native token of the Solana network. It was last up around 1% at 159.90, according to Coin Market Cap. On September 9th, it hit a record above $200. Um, this is a bump in the road for the network, and I agree with this, as many investors has favorited it over other altcoins. Uh, last week's Solana-backed products saw more inflows than Bitcoin and Ethereum-backed investments, according to data from CoinShares. Sol has gained around 250% over the last month, making it the top-performing major cryptocurrency, beating Ether, which is up 2.5%, and former market darling Dogecoin, which has fallen 30% in the same time. Um, if we take a look here at transactions per second, Visa does on average around 1,700 transactions per second. Um, but they do have a capability of more than 65,000. So the transactions that we're processing on the Solana network were more than four times even the highest transaction speed that Visa is capable of um, at their most taxing moments. Um, and let's take a look here. So this is a little bit of alpha that I found on Twitter. This guy has Sokka Trades. I've been following this person for a long time, um, but they always seem to have some pretty, uh, pretty good tweets. Um, they they watch certain markets and they'll post about it. And um, I wouldn't say follow their every move, but uh, I would say that they're a good person to follow. So you can see here on Soul Scan, um, these are all votes. Uh, I'm guessing that these are the votes to reset all of the nodes, and then. He has a feeling that Sol is going to tick up like 5% the moment the first transaction succeeds after this update. Um, so they put in a hot fix um, so they know what the problem was and they're updating the code, relaunching it uh, to everybody's node. Um, so yeah, I do think that even though the network was shut down, it wasn't shut down because it's a bad network. It's a great network, it's just um, these high frequency trading bots, I'm, uh, from reading the comments, the main consensus seems to be that on Radium, it's kind of like the Uniswap of Solana. So um, new tokens get released on Radium and the bots try and buy them up. The high frequency trading bots were putting in so many different transactions that it just kind of overloaded the network. But the amount of transactions that uh, here we go transaction speeds that ETH currently handles right now is just over 15 transactions per second. While Solana crashed because it was doing 400,000 per second. Um, meanwhile, ETH2, even when ETH2 releases, they will still only be capable of up to 100,000 transactions per second. So at its peak, Solana was still doing more transactions per second than Ethereum 2 will be capable of, and for that reason, I am bullish on Solana. Quick video today, just kind of wanted to show you what's going on with the Solana blockchain and the outage and, uh, and how I think that that is overall bullish sentiment, even though there may be a small sell-off uh, right when the network comes back online. 
I think within one week it will be recovered and that we'll be hitting new all-time highs. Not financial advice. Uh, if you made it this far in the video, be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. And I'll see you in the next video.